Hello everybody, Fixer here. I have the Westport Independent for you. This is a game about censorship, corruption, and newspapers. It was developed by 0010 and published by Coffee Stain Studios. You can get it for $10 on Steam. Uh, it's going to be a short series, uh, but there may be multiple series because there's a couple different ways I think you could go about it. But anyways, this game is about running a newspaper and censoring the content that is in the newspaper so you don't piss off the government. But at the same time, you perhaps want to help the rebels, or do whatever you want to do. So, we're going to click to start. A new game. Slide zero. Your game will be saved automatically between each week. I believe I can fit two weeks per episode, so I'm going to work for that. This is a work of fiction. Yes, we know. And I think I need my pen and paper. The following is an instructional film about the public culture bill for all independent newspapers in Westport. Throughout this film, we'll answer various questions you may have regarding both preparations for the bill and the bill itself. What is the Public Culture Bill? The Public Culture Bill is a new bill that will come into force May 16, 1949, and has been created to improve the quality of independent media outlets. The bill contains seven guidelines for independent media outlets to follow that will make it easier to create media products of utmost quality. In order to make sure that everyone follows these guidelines, the bill will create a government-driven union called the Loyalist News and Media Association that will be mandatory for independent media outlets to join. What's your responsibility until the bill comes into force? Introducing a new bill takes time. Therefore, until the Loyalist News and Media Association is properly set up and the bill has come into force, the Loyalist government has created temporary guidelines for you to follow. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of our country. Mm -hmm. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the Loyalist government. Do not print deceitful content that may harm the appearance of the president. And do not print deceitful content that may glorify the acts of rebels or other criminals. Do print content that strengthens loyalty towards the government. Do print content that inspires morality in the public. And finally, do print content that heartens propriety in our society. The and that's about the gist of it. expect your cooperation in this matter and hope you understand the consequences of disobedience and or affiliation with disloyal members of the public. How do I remove the improper content from my paper? First, drag an article to your desk. Second, read through the articles and look for fallacies. Look for fallacies. Third, paragraphs that do not fit with the government guidelines. Fourth, give your article to the journalist so that they can transcribe it. Make sure that you only give them an article you have fully edited, as mistakes can be quite devastating. That is all for this instructional tip. Remember that the guidelines presented during this film are for media outlets in Westport only, and is not to be shared with the public. Righto. So that's about the gist of the game, the Westport Independent. Week Zero. Twelve weeks left until the public culture bill comes into force. So I have twelve weeks remaining until we are forced into this union where there'll be the government running our newspaper, basically. So, we've got mail. Let's look at it real quick. Dear Editor, Phil has been putting up more loyalist propaganda in the office. You know, I can't stand this shit. So I decided to pull it down. It should be on your desk together with this note. Frank. Thank you, Frank. And what's this? That's the that's the propaganda. All right, so we have articles here, tutorial articles. I'll go over that in a second. But here are my employees. Here I got Julie. Sorry, she's known for having doubtful opinions of the government. She went to community college and worked a bo a board a board, if worked a board a freelance writer. I think we're missing an R in there. Her well-being. She's got mid-comfort level. She is leaning a rebel. I can't put my cursor down there because it'll change. So she leans a little rebel. You see the little um, marker there. And she's got a little bit loyalist suspicion. Phil is a loyalist supporter. He lives in the Western Districts, lives with disabled brother, and he went to a private college. 
Again, his comfort little is right in the middle. That's I believe that's his comfort on his job, on how comfortable he feels doing his job and writing the articles that we give him to write. I believe that's what that is. His opinion is leaning fairly loyalist, and he's got no loyalist suspicion as a result. Mr. Frank lives alone. He has no college education, lives by the Eastern factories, and he opposed the loyalists before they came into power. Again, comfort is in the middle. He leans fairly rebel about as much as Phil leans loyalist. And he's got a wee bit suspicion as well, more than Julie, in fact. And Anne, she is a parent, lives by the Eastern factory. She's married and went to a community college. She leans a tiny bit loyalist and no suspicion. She's basically a moderate. So I've got four articles here, and i got to assign them to an employee. So um, let's do the tutorial, I suppose. Let's bring it out on our table here. One of the game's main mechanics is censoring articles. You do this by clicking on paragraphs that seem inappropriate. Like that one. When censored, that content won't be shown to the public and will affect neither their opinion nor the government's suspicion of you. Great. You can also change the headline by clicking on it. Different headlines can change the portrayal of an article. This is known as tutorial article number one, censoring. Or, welcome to the extraordinary and amazing soon-to-be Game of the Year winner, the Westport Independent. And we will take that and we'll have Julie transcribe it. Article number two, employees. I already went over this. When you've censored an article, it needs to be transcribed. To do this, put it in one of the named folders. They have different opinions and they'll be discussing how I run my paper. They also have their lives to protect, so don't blame them if they don't wish to follow you to death. This part is about your employees. Uh, there we go. And let's give that to Phil, like the Groundhog Phil. And the Loyalist government pursues harsher actions against suspected rebels. An actual article. And this is what the most of the articles will look like. They're not terribly complex. They're basically bullet points, and we give it to the employees to transcribe. So here we go. Loyalist government pursues harsher actions against suspected rebels. Or the Loyalist government attacks the privacy of civilians. So you can see, obviously, one is propaganda and one is um, um, inflammatory. Couldn't spit it out. So, um, I don't know how I want to play this, this particular series. I think what I want to do is I want to try to incite the rebellion without getting caught. I think that's kind of what you're supposed to do in the game. And I and I think there are other ways you can play it, but I think that's what I'm going to go for here. So I'm not going to start off, off off the bat to, to piss anybody off. So a new reform has passed that will hasten the arrest of rebel supporters. The reform consists of exceptions and various privacy laws allowing police to expedite search warrants. Most of these exceptions apply to the ex-criminals and with relation to the rebels. However, some exceptions also apply to civilians who have expressed disloyal opinions against the government. So, um, this here will probably piss some people off. If I um, take that out, then um, we may not get too many pissed off people. And the government's going to like that we're cracking down on rebels, and of course the rebels aren't going to like it. So, Mr. Frank, you're going to... Here we go. Please, sir, I just cannot bring myself to write this article. So Frank does not want to write it. And why is that? Because Frank is a rebel and a uh, sympathizer. I, I, I hate that, that it drops down like that. Okay, there we go. Pulls the loyalist before they came to power. So he doesn't really want to write this article, and that's okay. I'll just give it to Ann. All right, the public culture bill has been passed. The public culture bill that the government presented last year has today been passed. The purpose of this new bill is to stop the creation and distribution of incorrect and improper content. It will force independent media outlets to either shut down or join the new government-funded union called the Loyalist News. So the alternative headline is, New Bill Has Been Passed Forces Independent Media Outlets to Shut Down. Obviously, this is going to get the support of rebels, and it's going to piss off the government. I don't really want to do anything too inflammatory today, so I am just going to do, do this. Send it on the way through. Send it to Prince. And here we go. And it shows these guys talking in the middle. You know, this is Frank, you know, I've never been a big fan of the Loyalist government, but the public culture bill is even worse than I expected. Um, Frank is a rebel sympathizer, remember, and Phil is the loyalist, loyalist. Don't blame it on the government, blame it on the yellow journalism and the blatant lies that come 
that some newspapers post these days, there's nothing good about a misinformed public. Well, yeah, sure, this is Frank again, but do you realize how much power the government will have over the media with this? And this is Julie. Julie is the somewhat rebel sympathizer, not too much, I don't think. I agree with Frank on this one. I can't see how the public culture bill will would be beneficial for anyone but the government. And Anne is the one that's kind of moderate. Well, media outlets like ourselves have a scary amount of power over people's opinions. But on the other hand, I don't think that giving that power to the government is a great idea either. I like Anne. All right, week one. Till the public culture bill comes into force. Here we go. Last week's sales. In the northern suburbs. I need a drink of water. Thank you. We have a, a little bit of popularity. This is the amount of sales I think it's going to tell me in a second. This bar illustrates your sales last week. The container represents the people of that district. The light bar illustrates how many of those papers that were sold. The more you sell, the more popular you get. The more popular you get, the more papers you can distribute. People's opinion will affect your sales as well. Likewise, a well-selling paper will also affect the people's opinion. That's my sold papers. All right, so we got the northern suburbs. And I just clicked on it. But you get the gist. North, south, east, and west. So the people's opinion. I have gained three um, loyalists since that uh, publication. So I was about right here, and I jumped three to the left. Uh, my lo the loyalist suspicion of me is negative 15 because they really like the paper I put out. And my paper's popularity was plus 19. I've got mail. There's nothing more heartbreaking than a misguided public. And how? In a world controlled by the media, the loyalist government will stop at nothing to protect the people from frivolous lies and irresponsible gossip. The public culture bill is for your protection. Okay, look at all these goodies. Let's start at the top. It's a very good place to start. Wellster and Son declares bankruptcy. 200 employees lose their jobs. Or the large number of unemployed citizens just got larger as Wellster and Son goes bankrupt. All right. And I can I look at... That's the same thing. All right. Well, oh, does it go really... Okay, there we go. I don't want to see this again. Give me my document back. All right, the small furniture maker Wellster & Son has officially closed down their business. The company had been steadily losing money over the last five years before finally shutting their factories yesterday, and Wellster & Son employed around 200 people in their factories and stores. So, do I want to get inflammatory yet? I don't think I do. Um, let's go on to the next one. We'll think about that. Burglar apprehended in Northern District, or a homeless man assaulted for sitting outside a gated community. Last night, security at the Lionwood community in the northern suburbs detained a man for attempted burglary. So you see this is in regards to the northern suburbs. So the people in the northern suburbs will be particularly interested in this news story. So this may help me influence them one way or another. So i got to keep an eye out for that. The man, a local vagrant, was found late at night leaning against the eastern wall. The man arrived at the police station with a black eye and multiple bruises. Some of these bums need a little extra motivation, one of the guards stated. Okay. President struck by tomato. Or the president viciously attacked, viciously attacked by a rebel sympathizer. How about that? I feel like I'm playing Fox News the game here. Fox News slash MSNBC the game. So yesterday morning during a speech, the president was struck by a tomato thrown by a member of the crowd. The president received no injuries. Though the speech was canceled soon after. The assailant was apprehended by security. The authorities have yet to announce a trial or sentence. So what I could do is, if I wanted to influence this, people would love to see the, the president getting struck by a tomato. However, they may be more interested in the article if the assailant was never caught. And if I censor that, they won't know the assailant was caught. On the other hand, if I tell them the assailant was caught, then the government's going to like what I wrote. Because there's the... That I, they're, I'm showing that the, their law enforcement is doing their job. All right, movie star invest in fashion line, renowned movie star Harold Flynn, perhaps I said Flynn, didn't I? May as well be Errol Flynn, has invested in the latest fashion line by designer Vera Vizuna, Vizwana, Vizana. 
I was speechless, the star said when seeing Vizana's work for the first time. I've never seen anything like it before. He has great taste, the designer stated. Only a few can tell the difference between fashion and garbage, and Mr. Finn is one of them. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Local factory hires scabs or local factory hires women workers. A local shell factory announced today its intention to bring women into the workplace. The owner described this as both with the times and cost effective. The, the announcement came shortly after a massive strike against the company's dangerous working environment. There's always somebody right for the job, the owner said to the press. That's fucked up. Man attacks police officer. Or, man defends teenager police officer presses charges. One teenager was caught writing rebel messages on walls close to Liberty Square. A police officer witnessed the act and intervened by tackling the teenager. The arrest was interrupted by a passerby who pulled the officer away from the teenager. Both the man and the teenager were arrested when the officer's partner arrived on the scene. Cartoonist arrested for slander. Government arrests man for cartoon. So, pretty obvious what we can do with this. Cartoon artist for the Great Western Inquirer was today arrested and is currently awaiting trial. Details of the charges are unclear, but include slander and producing treasonous material. This came after the recent comic strip, The Government Body, which cast several public figures as different body parts. So the government's not going to want me to print that, obviously. Right? Alright, so let's go back here. And I have to keep in mind that these guys will put their slants on it. So Phil will probably put a loyalist slant on the article I give him. And same with Julian Frank would probably give me a rebel slant. So I have to keep that in mind. And if my goal is to actually help the rebels, I need to work for that. All right. So man attacks police officer. Man defends teenager. Police officer presses charges. Uh, this is going to piss people off. I can already tell. So one teenager... And what's funny about this is I can actually censor it the other way and manipulate the news the opposite way. I find that very ironic. So one teenager was caught writing level messages and a police officer witnessed the act and intervened by tackling the teenager. So I'm going to take this, strike it from the record. The arrest was interrupted by a passerby. Both the man and the teenager were arrested. There we go. I'm going to take that out. So, the people who read this article, they're not going to know that the teenager was writing rebel messages. And they're not going to know that they ended up getting arrested. All they're going to know is that a cop attacked a, a, a teenager for whatever reason. And the arrest was interrupted by a passerby who pulled them off. So I am putting out my own propaganda, basically. What the, what the shit? Oh, here we go. And it's going to go to a rebel. Frank. If I were to give that to Phil, he probably won't write it. Yep, same. So we'll give it to Frank. All right. Movie star invests in fashion line. Or movie star throws away more money on clothes. I like that one. Um, this is going to probably appeal to poor people. Well, it's going to appeal to people who like celebrity news. I was speechless, blah, blah, blah. He has great taste. But I'm going to leave it all in. Movie star. We'll give it to Julie. All right, so we got a loyalist in there. So we need something that may appeal to loyalists. Um... Wilster and Sons declare bankruptcy. Large number of unemployed just got larger. So we'll do this. 200 employees lose their jobs. The company has been steadily losing money. The rich don't want to hear that. Loyalists are rich. All right, so we'll take that. Give it to Phil. And now we got Anne, who's kind of a moderate. Um, burglar apprehended in Northern District. Last night, security at the line commu or homeless man assaulted. Hmm. Go with homeless man assaulted. Last night, the security at the Lionwood community in the was found late at night. Some of these bums need. All right, so the man, a local vagrant, was found late at night leaning against the eastern wall. The local vagrant is going to go against my my propaganda here, so I'm going to strike that out now. This looks far worse than it really is. And Anne won't write it. God bless it, Anne. 
So she wants to leave that in, right? No, she doesn't want to do anything at all with it. I think it's because Anne is in the Eastern Factories and this is about the North. I'm guessing that's why. All right, how about this? Local factory hires scabs. Local factory hires women workers. So we're going to go with scabs. Um, the owner described this as both with the times and cost effective. We're going to take that out because it doesn't uh, fit our our narrative that we want to give here. And I think the rest is okay. So we'll give that to Anne. God bless it, Anne. What do you want to do? President struck by tomato? There we go. We'll put one of these in here. Um, let's see. Let's take that out, though. Let's see what she'll do. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. And what the shit will you write? Um, no. Uh, da -da -da -da. there we go. How about that? Will you write that? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Which one did I not do? I did all of them, didn't I? Um, let's send that in there. What, what, what will... There we go. All right, so let's let's go back to our homeless man and give it to Julie. Jesus Christ. All right, homeless man, give it to Phil. You know what? Freak you, Phil. All right, we're sending this to print. Phil, I can't say I'm too happy... There's an O missing there. About the way our editor is spreading anti-police propaganda. Okay, Phil didn't like that. Uh, what do you mean? Well, what I mean is that how can we feel like acceptable journalists when we glorify criminals and their accomplices? Well, if the officer didn't act like a violent madman, an innocent civilian wouldn't have had to stop him. If the brat hadn't gone around vandalizing property, the problem wouldn't have existed in the first place. Right, so Phil's probably not too happy about his job. Week two, ten weeks left. All right. Last week's sales, we did okay in the northern suburbs and the western districts, but uh, eastern factories, not too happy. Southern docks, did okay. There's our popularity and their opinions are, are here. Same, I don't think any of that would have changed by now. All right, I've gained nine rebel on the political opinion scale. Um, the loyal suspicion of you is plus 20. It was minus 19 before, I think. So that that changed by like 40. That was a lot, actually. And my popularity hasn't changed. I've got mail. Dear Editor, as you are probably aware by now, when we were finally able to stop the notorious Northern Herald from spreading their lies to the public, we were also forced to shut down their affiliated marketing agency. As it so happens, your paper, the Westport Independent, used the same agency. This means that from now on, you'll have to take care of advertising yourselves. Additionally, because of your affiliation with the perpetrators, we'll be keeping a close eye on you for the time being. Thank you. What's this? Dear Editor, as the fat piglets of Westport are too busy stuffing their faces with government-sponsored treats to tell the difference between innocence and guilt, we're going to start having some pleasant shouting parties outside their barns. We've already held our first one. We invite you and anyone else you know to our second event next week. We've got to reach those porky ears at some point. Your regards, a friendly rebel neighbor. So the rebels, uh, rebels are liking what I've done here. All as tyrants grow, so does the need for civil disobedience. When police attack innocent civilians, it's up to us to stop them. Got it. All right, so we got some more articles to work on. I think we'll, um, uh, I think I'll squeeze them in. Maybe I'll work a little bit quicker here and get this episode done because I wanted to do two weeks per episode. So, anyways, mercury found in the fish docks, fire in the apartment complex, Northern Herald shuts its doors, and okay. Movie star visits underground club. Factory explosion shakes the eastern district. We didn't do well there, so let's do this. Removal factory blown up by rubble bombs. Alright, let's, let's go with the regular headline. Tragedy stuck, struck last night as a local factory exploded in the eastern district. Several were left injured and casualties already number in the hundreds. Removal management claims that this due to... This was due to a chemical, to an accident involving chemical compounds. This looks like there. Police believe otherwise with suspicions of rebel involvement. Let's take that out. 
And who was Eastern? Anne. There you go, Anne. Northern Herald. And someone was... He's Western. And Frank is Eastern. Okay. Um, movie star. Westport Police shuts down smuggling arena. Protesters outside police station. All right, let's do Mercury in the southern docks. These are the poor people. This morning, a shipment of fish from the docks. Oh, right. Mercury found in the docks. And in in fish from the southern docks. Fish from the southern docks could kill you. We'll go with fear-mongering this time. This morning, a shipment of fish from the docks was found to contain a dosage of mercury exceeding national guidelines. Viewed as a potential health hazard, the shipment was confiscated. Medical officials, however, confirmed that the dosage is still below lethal amounts. Nope. The public is advised to avoid purchasing fish from the southern docks. That will kill their economy. Let's, let's do that. I feel like an asshole. Frank, go for it. All right. So let's let's make Phil a little bit happy. He's He's not too happy right now. All right, fire in apartment complex. Northern Herald shuts the stores. Phil is a loyalist, so he'll probably like the Westport police shut down the smuggling ring. Police attack Southern Dock Market. Yesterday morning, the police raided the, the God. The Southern Docks has got shit going on. According to the police, the market is suspected of harboring multiple black market vendors. The market will be closed off for a month to repair damage caused by the raid. Many inhabitants of the Southern Docks rely on the market's cheap goods. All right, let's just give this to Phil. You son of a bitch, Phil. Alright, protesters. Mr. Protesters outside police station. Rebel sympathizers is attack police. Alright, Phil will like this. Yesterday afternoon, a group of around 300 people gathered outside Liberty Square Police Department in protest. The group protested the recent arrest of a local man for protecting a suspected rebel teen from a police officer. Ha, that was us that, that did that article. The police retaliated by dispatching the riot police who arrested several participants. Alright, you go for it. Well, how about that? Protesters out. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Fire. You're getting a fire in an apartment complex or people left homeless after the fire. Fire erupted last night in an apartment complex between the Southern Docks and the Western Districts. During the two hours it took to extinguish the blaze, 42 apartments were damaged to the point of being uninhabitable. Survivors, survivors have had to move in with friends and family. Phil. Phil. There you go, Phil. Movie star visits underground club by the Eastern Factories or movie star parties with violent gang. Last night, movie star Harold Flynn, Finn, 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 was spotted entering an underground club by Eastern Factories. The club was has been suspected of being affiliated with the Vile Rags, a criminal organization known for their violent behavior. While it's uncertain what he did at the club, sources claim that Finn drunkenly left... Yeah, screw it. We're, we're going tabloid there. All right. Proceed to layout. So we are in charge of marketing now. Pick articles from here and drag them to the empty page in the paper. Uh, click on the right half of the paper to turn to the next page. Click here to move to on to marketing. All right. So this is going to tell you um, how much this content is in this paper as far as how much it's leaning to these different topics. This document here has got a, a fairly large industrial ring to it with a little bit of crime, of course. Take that out. And this fish from the southern docks would kill you. Got some industrial on the low societal because it's killing people, of course. Fire is crime. And the movie star is totally celebrity. Let's put that shit on the front page. Factory explosion, and we'll put on the second page. Fish third, fire fourth. And there you go. This is the content of my newspaper this particular week. Is it a daily or a weekly? It's weekly. Yes, because we're doing week 12 weeks. Click here to move on to marketing. All right, drag slider to change your marketing focus between the different districts. Ho hover over the badge to get info about the districts, such as the preferred articles. You can also look here when holding your cursor over the district's marketing bar to see what article is preferred. All right, so let's go over this real quick. The northern suburbs, population is 75,000. Their main industries are government sectors and the legal bureaus. They enjoy celebrity news and industrial news, but of course. And the background is the upper class district of Westport has very few inhabitants, but those who do live here has more money than most of the people of Westport could ever dream of. The Western Districts has 150,000, twice as many. Cafes and restaurants and bureaucratic agencies. 
They prefer crime and celebrity news. They're the middle class district of Westport. While it is smaller and wealthier than the eastern factories and the southern docks, it is not as wealthy nor small, nor as small as the northern suburbs. Eastern is 225k. They like heavy industry and steel mills. They prefer societal and industrial news. The industrial part of Westport and also the dirtiest. The people who live here have has it pretty harsh. There's there's too many um, grammar errors in this game. But at least almost everyone has a job in the factories to support their families. The Southern Docks has got 300,000 people. Shipping and logistics and fishing, of course. They prefer societal and crime, and they are the slums of Westport. The Eastern Factories may be the dirtiest part of Westport, but the Southern Docks is by far the most run down. Here, unemployment is high, the homelessness is even higher. Despite this, a little over half of Westport's population lives here. Alright, so you can see up here... When I hover over it, down here it's going to tell you what they enjoy. So there's a little bit of overlap. Like the northern suburbs, like Celebrity Industrial. And the western districts, which is basically the middle class. Like Celebrity, celebrity and Crime. So we got overlap. And we can actually market them based on how much money we want to put towards um, distribution. And it'll change the name of your paper here. So if you put all this money towards the northern suburbs, you're going to put news for those with fine ta finer tastes. West is the modern media for modern metropolitans. The east is the workers' magazine, and the southern is the gritty news for the gritty sailor. So, I I don't I don't know what I want to do. I have I have um. Eastern District News here, and Southern Docks. So maybe I'll go with a little bit in each, and perhaps the combination of the advertising, the marketing, and the articles will get me some pretty big sales in those two areas. There's a lot of people there. They don't have a lot of money, though. So I could potentially get a lot of influence. Publish. Well, I think I'll be staying off seafood for a while. They couldn't have had a worse timing either. We just bought 8 pounds of fresh fish that we now have to throw in the trash. Well, to be fair, anything that has uh, actually managed to survive in the river thus could probably outlast the hydrogen bomb. I think we're missing another word there. Too many typos in this game. Yeah, well, fair number. Yeah, I've heard that workers at the factories are told to dump whatever waste they can find in that river. I've noticed. Some of the factories around the apartment look and smell even worse than the southern dock sewers. Lovely. All right, let's see how that did. Three weeks. Last week's sales, we did okay. Okay, so it's about even across the board. So I'm guessing the North liked the articles, and the East and South probably didn't, but I advertised enough there in order to sell. That's, that's quite balanced. So I gained seven on the Rebel side. I gained a lot of suspicion. And my popularity grew by 10. Great. So I think that is it. We're going to call that a day. That was a longer episode than I anticipated. But I want to do two weeks per episode. So next uh, episode should be week three and week four, I believe. So anyways, that's the uh, Westport Independent. Again, you can usually get it on Steam for $10 or so. Developed by 0010. Published by Coffee Stain Studios. Who also published Goat Simulator, which is an outrageously funny game. Uh, as are the... Um, expansions to it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.